Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Um, today I'm doing a kind of impromptu um, recording of homemade cornbread stuffing. So Thanksgiving is here in two days and I did get a special request for this recipe. Um, this recipe is my mother's recipe, so it's very special to me. Um, both of my parents passed away um, back in 2009 and I recall the Thanksgiving of 2008 um, was the time that my mom told me that I got her cornbread stuffing perfect. So I hosted Thanksgiving at my house and um, I had tried a few years prior to get it perfect and I was missing just a little something and she finally said I got it down packed. So uh, we make this every year, it's a family tradition. Um, you know, some of you might think it's a very basic recipe, um, but it's something that I know my siblings and my children, and my husband, we all love um, to have for Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna just um, do a quick rundown on what you need for this recipe. Um, the most important thing is that you need um, a tray of cornbread. Uh, this cornbread was baked and now it's cold. So it's ready to go. Um, you can make homemade cornbread if you choose, or if you wanna take the easy route, you can use um, like a Jiffy mix. Um, cornbread or like I said you can make it from scratch if you choose but you'll need a tray um, so I have a rather large tray here this will give me about um, three pans this size of um, cornbread stuffing so um, we typically use one pan to put in the oven one pan um, worth will go inside the turkey hence the name stuffing um, if you don't know the difference some people you know there's just controversy whether you have dressing or whether you have stuffing and um, my understanding and I don't know you might have a different understanding if you do please leave a comment and let me know what your understanding of it is but um, stuffing is what you put inside the bird and dressing is what you have in the pan I call it all stuffing that's how I was raised so it's all stuffing to me um, but again you'll need a tray of cornbread and again it could be it could even be store-bought if you want to if you want to make it easy for yourself um, and then you'll need some sage sausage so I have some um, ground sage sausage here and again I cook this um, this here was uh, five five of the rolls um, that I browned up you'll need um, a little bit of green pepper some celery some chopped onion and then you'll need different spices um, I do have salt black pepper thyme celery seed minced garlic powdered garlic uh, or garlic powder, black pepper, and then also some onion powder. And then you'll need about two or three eggs, depending, and also some chicken stock. All right, and I have to just tell you up front that um, for this recipe, it's difficult for me to measure. Um, you know, I was kind of raised to kind of taste things and, you know, you add seasoning as you see fit. Um, I also believe if you see that meme going around about, you know, um, real cooks don't need to measure. You just kind of listen to your ancestors to tell you to stop. I kind of believe in that. So um, a lot of times I don't measure. I just kind of taste and I'll uh, adjust accordingly. Um, but this is again the foundation for the recipe. So the first thing you want to do, which is kind of fun, um, pardon my nails though. <laughs> uh, my daughter just had a birthday and um, we had her nails painted, our nails painted, and she does not want me to remove them just yet. So I do apologize for my nails not being done right now, but I am going to dig into this cornbread. So that's like the fun part of it is you get to take the cornbread, make sure it's cooled, and you're just going to break it up. And really, you're just going to add in all these ingredients. So you want to get this broken up. And if you have like a really large bowl, you can use a large bowl. That might be easy for you. Um, but you're gonna just get it into big chunks and some crumbs there. And I tend to just do everything in this pan. It makes it a lot easier for me. Or if you have a larger pan, you can definitely take the cornbread and um, put it into a larger pan so you have more room to work with. Then you're just gonna take your sausage. And again, um, I use five rolls of sausage here. Um, you can use more or less depending on your preference. Um, my family tends to love meat, so we probably have more than most. Um, I may not use all of this, whatever I have left over, I'll put in an omelet or something in the morning, but you're just gonna take um, some of the sage sausage. And if you go to the grocery store and there isn't um, sage sausage, you can always um, just get the original um, breakfast roll and then you can add an extra sage. So you can definitely do that. All right, you're just gonna mix that in. All right, the next thing, you're gonna take some onions, and these are just some onions that I chopped up earlier to prepare for this recipe. Just gonna add in some onions, and again, this is based on your preference. So this is probably about, um, for this pan, probably about one and a half small onion that I've chopped up. 
Just gonna put that in there. Um, celery, I don't put too much celery in mine, so probably about maybe one stalk that's chopped finely. I'm just gonna add that in there. And again, more or less depending on your preference. And then the one thing that I know some people don't like in their um, stuffing that I think was the thing that I was missing that one Thanksgiving um, where my mom said that it wasn't there and then the next year I got it right, um, is a little bit of green pepper. So um, this is um, just a half of a green pepper that I chopped up finely. I'm gonna put that in there. And we're gonna get this all just kind of mixed in there. All right, and the nice thing about this, like I said, you can taste this along the way because everything is safe. I mean, the sausage was fully cooked, the cornbread's cooked, there's no egg in here yet. Um, you definitely will be putting an egg in here, but I recommend not um, putting the egg in until the very end um, after you've already tasted everything. All right, so you can kind of just give it a look to see, do I need more sausage? Um, or is this about good? I think this looks about good for us, all right? So from there, you're gonna add in your seasonings. Um, I have here about a teaspoon of salt. And again, more or less, depending on your preference, um, we're gonna add just a little dash of black pepper. All right, and then I have here um, about two teaspoons of minced garlic. I'm just gonna add that in. And like I said, I, I love garlic, so we always add garlic. I'm gonna add a little bit more of garlic powder, just a little bit, a little bit of onion powder. All right, and then I do have here um, just one teaspoon of powdered sage. We're gonna add that in. You could also, if you want to, you can chop up um, fresh sage and just mince that real nicely and put that in there. I'm gonna put in just a little dash or two of thyme, powdered thyme. All right, and then celery seed is important. My mom added celery seed to her recipe. Um, we do have celery in here. If you don't care to have celery, you can always just add a little bit of extra celery seed. But for the celery seed, I'm just doing like a pinch, not too much. All right, so that's like the foundation for your dressing, for your stuffing. You're gonna mix all of that in. All right, get it all mixed in good. And I can tell you that was one of my favorite memories um, from my childhood was my mom getting the cornbread ready and um, browning the sage sausage and the dressing, the stuffing being cooked and ready to go um, Thanksgiving morning. So um, she would stuff the turkey with it and then we would always have a tray or two um, to add on as a side dish. All right, so we have all of that mixed up there. Now at this point, I would probably just give it a quick taste to see if I need to add any more veggies in there or if I wanna add any more spices. Um, I am gonna use a spoon for this typically because I'm, I'm cooking. My sister's actually gonna have a tray of this for her Thanksgiving. Um, so I don't wanna, you know, cross contaminate. Um, so I am gonna taste just a little bit just to see if I think it needs anything else in there. And so I can tell you already that needs a little bit more salt. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt there. And you don't wanna to put too much salt because your chicken broth will have some salt in there. So you don't wanna to put too much salt. I'm also gonna add a little bit more garlic. And I think that's probably good. All right, so I'm gonna get that mixed in there. Then one of the last steps is you're going to take the chicken broth and for your dressing, and again, this is based on preference. Some prefer a dry stuffing. Some prefer, prefer like a moist stuffing. Um, really just depends on what your preference is. But I take a little bit of um, just some chicken stock and we're just gonna moisten this up a little bit. And you can always moisten it up throughout the cooking time. And this is about half a quart that I'm putting in there. We're gonna get that mixed up good just to get it moistened. All right. Perfect. So that feels about moist for me. We don't like ours too wet. You're gonna have gravy to go on top of it. And then if you're putting it in your turkey, you know, that's gonna moisten it up some more. Um, also be careful, if you're prepping your turkey the day before, you wanna make sure that you don't put the stuffing in there um, before. So you can, you know, clean your turkey and season it and have it ready to go. Then the morning or whenever, right before you're getting ready to put it in the oven, um, then that's when you would add your stuffing to it, okay? 
So this is perfectly moist. I think this is good enough for us. We don't want ours too wet. And then from here, the last step would be to take your eggs. You're gonna uh, crack them. You're gonna um, scramble those up a little bit and then you're gonna pour it in and mix it all in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and we're gonna get the eggs in there. Okay, so I have my eggs here. I'm just gonna give these a quick mix. And again, this is just to help bind the, the stuffing a little bit. Um, some people put more eggs, I just put two in there. Uh, before I put the eggs in there, I'm gonna give it one last taste and this is with a clean spoon. You just wanna make sure your seasonings are on point before you add those eggs in. You don't wanna taste this with raw eggs in there. Yeah, I think it's perfect. All right, so then you're just gonna take your egg, pour it over top, and then you're gonna get that mixed in there nicely. All right, so just get it all over, get it mixed in. And then from there, you're finished. So you can um, wrap this tightly or pour it in, uh, put it into like a um, container for the refrigerator. And you know, whenever you're ready to put the stuffing inside your turkey, you can do that. Um, or if you're gonna do like what I'm gonna do for my sister, I'm gonna take a grease pan and I'm just gonna um, fill this up for her and wrap it up and um, she can take it out Thanksgiving morning um, or the night before if she wants to get her meal done the day before and um, she can just stick it in the oven. I would say on about 350 for about, I would keep it covered for the first 30 minutes, just let it cook. And then maybe the last five, 10 minutes, take the, um, the aluminum foil off. That way it can brown a little bit. And as you are cooking it, if you notice that it's drying out a little bit, you can always add in more chicken, chicken stock. So again, that's based on your preference. If you want it more crumbly and um, not as moist, it just depends on what your preference is. So I think this is perfect to go. And I'm gonna get this package for my sister and um, we'll have a tray for ourselves and then we'll have some to put inside of our turkey for Thanksgiving. So I hope you enjoyed my recipe. And again, I do apologize that I don't have exact measurements, um, but like I said, if you just taste it along the way before you put the egg in, you should be fine. Um, with this recipe also, you can use this as a foundation for like a seafood dressing. If you don't like to eat pork, you can um, replace the pork with beef or turkey. Um, just depends on um, what your preference is. Um, some people like to have that seafood dressing with the oysters and things. You can also use this as the foundation for that. Um, and then if you have any tricks or tips that you use for your cornbread stuffing, feel free to let me know, leave me a comment. I would appreciate it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this um, prepared for my sister and packaged for us so that we can have it ready for Thanksgiving morning. Um, if you have any feedback for me, please feel free to leave any comments. And I do uh, appreciate you subscribing to my page. So if you'd like to get more updates and more recipes, please subscribe to my channel. It's MH Family Adventures on YouTube. Um, I do plan to do a candied yams and sweet potato pie recipe tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. And I hope you guys are having a safe and happy Thanksgiving this year. And again, please go to my page, like it and subscribe. Till next time.